Yeah! Uh, that is the smallest apple ever! But it won't come down! I'm tired of waiting. Mm. Uh, uh. Just, uh, getting warmed up. Boing, boing, boing! Gotcha! That's apple picking Tessa style! It's a crab apple. Kind of sour. It looks yummy to me. <laughs> Ew! Not yummy. Now I want a big, juicy apple more than ever. Hmm. Why don't we go where the biggest, most best, most delicious apples grow? Like where? Like a whole island of apples. Big apples. Yeah! Big Apple Island! Great! Let's go! All right! Oh, hey, Jack. Where are you guys going? We're going to find the biggest apples ever. Apples? Ew. What? What's wrong with apples? Don't you know about apples? I heard that one time there was this kid who found a worm in an apple. A worm? Ew. Yeah, gross, right? Well, see ya. Come on, Tessa. Let's go. Worms. Yuck. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And you can come along. A special kind of adventure. But first we sing this song. We sing this song. Sing this song. Quiet. And where did all the apple trees go? Looks like some of them were cut down to make this wall. But I wonder why. Look! There's an apple tree! Now those are big apples! Stop! Don't touch those apples. You don't want to make the angry apple angry. What's the angry apple? Oh, it's the biggest apple you've ever seen. And the other day, we think the angry apple ate our leader, Chief Beaver. <laughs> <laughs> That's silly. Apples don't eat people or beavers. Well, go ahead and laugh, but he's missing. And that's why we stopped eating apples and built this wall. To keep the angry apple away. I don't know about any angry apples, but I know this one looks delicious. Ooh, it's the angry apple. Scientific fact. There is no such thing as an angry apple. Yeah. Apples aren't angry, they're yummy. Except the little sour ones. And the ones with the worms, yuck. I say we go find out what this angry apple really is. Yeah, let's show these beavers there's nothing to be scared of. Please take us to the angry apple. Yeah, we'll find your leader. I, uh, okay, but you'll regret it. What if there is an angry apple and there's a giant worm inside making it angry? And if there's one thing worse than an angry apple, it's a giant worm inside an angry apple. 
Tessa, you sound like these silly beavers. You're just imagining things. <laughs> oh, really? We'll see. They sure do look yummy. Yup, they do. <clears throat> but do not touch them. <gasps> Wait up! <sighs> Behold, the angry apple. is one huge apple. But it doesn't look very angry to me. Uh, I'll just be over here. What in the name of fidgeting fruit is going on around here? Mm -mm. Tessa, aren't you coming with us? No. I don't like apples anymore. They have worms in them. Yuck! I don't want to find a worm in an apple. I don't even want to see an apple. If there was a worm in the apple, there'd be a hole where the worm crawled in. No holes here. You sure? There's only one way to find out. <laughs> be careful, Sophie. This apple isn't angry or hungry. You've got to see this. Don't worry. No worms. I promise. Thank goodness. I was trying to push this apple home and got my tail stuck under it. Been here for days. You were making all that noise? Yup. Didn't think anyone heard me, though. Now, if you don't mind, please get this apple off my tail. Come on, everybody. One, two, three. Ah! Yeah! I'm free! 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 You defeated the Angry Apple and saved our beaver chief. Angry Apple? What Angry Apple? We thought it gobbled you up. There was no Angry Apple. Good thing you came along. You weren't scared. Well, I was kind of scared. But my friend showed me it was only my imagination playing tricks on me. To show our thanks, we would like to share our specialty with you. Apple pie! Mmm, so good. Best apple pie ever. See? No angry apple. And no worms. So, I'll have another slice, please. <laughs> <laughs> and now, another amazing adventure of Super Ready! Whoa! Oh, save me! Save me! What brave person will come to my rescue? Don't worry, Super Ready is Super Ready. Some great big furry creature is trying to gobble me up. Where is this beast? Uh, under my stool. Wow. 
It's just a stuffed bunny rabbit. Nothing to be scared of. Nibbles, I was looking for you. How did you get out of your cage? Were you guys afraid of a cute little hamster? Well, not you really. See, um, time for a run on your hamster wheel. <laughs> <laughs> But if your sandwiches are so yummy. Jack! What? Oh, Fooey! I wanted to share the most special, perfect, and amazing pirate picnic with you all. But now it's all. well, it's all messed up. Sorry. Emma, maybe an adventure would cheer you up. Yeah, like a real pirate adventure. <sighs> pirate adventure? Let's go! We can wear our sparkly hats. Definitely. I'm gonna stay and work on some moves for my dance party. Woo! Ooh, can I help? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, sure. <clears throat> And you can come along A special kind of adventure But first we sing this song We sing this song 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 Hey, hey, we've got an adventure Wait up! <gasps> Where'd all the pirates go? Pirates, ahoy! Yo ho! Hey, pirates! <laughs>
monkey pirates? Looks that way. <laughs> Stop it, monkeys! <laughs> Bad monkeys! <laughs> hey, monkeys! like to have the best, most wonderful, perfect pirate day ever. So, you just go relax while I, Emma, make your day Emma amazing. Hey, it's what I do. Let's get to work. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Jack, would you be a super-duper helper and call the monkey pirates to the table? <laughs> Ooh, I think they like it. You do? Of course. Who doesn't adore sparkly things? And they'll just go bananas for this. Banana burgers! <laughs> hey! Get off the table! Sit down! <laughs> hey! Wait up! Maybe if we sit... <laughs> guys! Guys! <laughs> sit nicely! Please! <laughs> Let me show you the proper way to eat bananas. But they're monkeys! There's a proper way for everything. See? <laughs> Not bad. <gasps> no! Not like that! Not good. Run for your life! But my perfect pirate ship party! Uh-oh! Are you okay, Emma? I just wanted to make the best, most amazing, wonderful pirate day. <sighs> mm, mm, mm. Delicious. <laughs> Monkeys are doing everything Jack's doing. Kind of cool. Kind of weird. <laughs> 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 isn't always such a bad thing. I guess sometimes you've just got to let people be who they are. And let monkeys be monkeys. Time for Test 
Elsa's dance party! Okay, remember, just like we practiced. Hit it, Ziggy! Dance party! Woohoo! Yay! <laughs> Party, and you're supposed to dance Tessa style. Oh, rat. Guess I got carried away. I kind of like Mia's dancing. Me too, especially that part when you. Oh, yeah, dance party. Oh, yeah. That was really so cute. Tessa style is great, but so is Mia's style. Bunny, Teddy, and Zebra liked it too. <laughs> Tessa, sometimes it's fun to try different styles, too. Yeah, and Mia does have some interesting moves. Mia, could you show me what you were doing with the, uh... Definitely. Wow, you're a good artist. Thanks. Hmm. Now the trick is staying inside the lines with the paints and using just the right colors to... <gasps> a purple sun? Isn't it pretty? Oh, yes, but the sun is more yellow. Uh, I just thought it was pretty. Purple is pretty. Oh. Um, what you doing, Emma? Bedazzling the pig pen. Oh, well, pig pens aren't really very bedazzly, so let's just stick with farm colors, okay? Here's some nice brown paint. A perfect shade of mud. Oh, brown. Yeah. I mean, thanks. <laughs> okay, that's great, Jack. A blue sheep! Blue sheep? I know, so funny, right? Not as funny as your dinosaur. Dinosaur? There's not supposed to be a dinosaur. What's a farm without a dinosaur? Uh, a farm? That would look nice with glitter. Farms don't have glittery dinosaurs. Can't we just do it my way, the way it's supposed to be? I should probably wash off this paint. Yeah, me too. <sighs> we'll paint the farm with you, Sophie. Yeah. I'm not in the mood anymore. How about we go on an adventure? To a real farm. It'll be farm-tastic. Yeah, let's go. Great idea. Two, three, four. We've got an adventure, and you can come along. A special kind of adventure, but first we sing this song. We sing this song. Sing this song. What is going on? I don't know. Hey, guys. Hi, Bernie. Hi, Bernie. Hi, Bernie. 
<laughs> you here for the games? Games? The great goat games. You could be a great goat games gold champion. Ooh, I want to be a great gold goat. Whatever it is, I want to be a champion. Me too. Can we play? Well, you'll have to ask Biff. He's the goat in charge. Sorry, you don't play by my rules. You don't play at all. Better luck next time. Not. <laughs> Hello. I'm Biff. That's Crash and Bash. You here to play? You bet we are. If that's okay with you, Mr. Biff. Oh, that's fine. Isn't it, fellas? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't trust these guys. Don't worry. We're going to win this thing. You just go right ahead and do that. Start at the starting line and finish at the finish line. Then you'll be a great Goat Games Gold champion. Quite simple, really. <laughs> Let the Goat Games begin! <laughs> On your marks, get set. Goat! This isn't so hard. Whoa! <laughs> We're going to be champions! Yeah. <laughs> hold it! Hold it! Hold it! Whoa! <clears throat> hey, hey, I am such a scatterbrain. One tiny little rule. You gotta run the course with one eye closed. Well, hmm. okay. <sighs> <sighs> Whoa, whoa, whoa! Silly me! One other rule. One leg off the ground. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> whoa! <laughs> oh, rats! Hear me up? Hang on! Hang on! Another rule. Uh, two rules, actually. You gotta do it backwards, holding your breath. <laughs> But that's How not are we supposed to... Hey, whoa! Don't you want to be Great Goat Games Gold Champions? Yeah, <sighs> I guess so. <laughs> oh! I forgot the best part! Sorry, did I mention the watermelons? There are watermelons. Oh, it looks like we got no winners. Too bad. <laughs> Thank you for playing the goat games. Come back soon, but not really. <laughs> that wasn't very fair. I know. And I'm beat. Let's just rest in here a while. Guess we're not the only ones who didn't win. <laughs> <sighs> you know what? We couldn't win. That Biff just makes up rules as he goes along. Kobe's right. That is not fair. They're bullies. That's all they are. Yeah, yeah, I that's agree. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. We don't have to play Biff's game. We can make our own yeah. games. But he's in charge. What if he gets mad at us? Maybe we should just stay here. That's what bullies want you to do. Nothing. Who wants to go have some fun? We, we do. do. <laughs> Let's show those bullies that we don't have to play their game. Let's go, gang. <laughs> Better luck next time. <laughs> well, I think that's everyone. Now they'll know who makes the rules around here. <laughs> yeah, you're the guy. <laughs> Whoa, what is that? Tag, you're it. Well, I can't do whatever that is unless I tell them they can do whatever that is. Go over there and see what's going on, will you? 
<laughs> Here comes Crash and Bash. <laughs> hey, I want to play too. Uh. Okay, sure. Come on. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> I want to be. Hey, hey, hey! You, you. You can't have me. <laughs> Crash, Bash. Hey, you bitch! <laughs> I want a full report. Guys! Come on! <laughs> <laughs> What do you think you're doing? Playing? Why? I got some rules for you. That's why. We have our own rules, Biff. One, anyone can play. Two, everyone plays fair. And three, everyone is fun and no one's a bully. <laughs> <laughs> Want to join in? Okay, <laughs> up to you. See ya. I, um, I was wondering if... What were those rules again? Anyone can play, everyone has fun, and no bullying. I guess I could give it a try, if it's okay. Sure, anyone can play, if they play nicely. I'm coming in! <laughs> I guess even bullies can learn new rules. And how to have fun. And you know what else? What? You're it! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get you back! <laughs> hey, Kobe, is that a spaceship over the farm? Uh, yeah? It's great! And Emma, nice bedazzling. I bet the pigs will love that. Oh, Eddie, I think your dinosaur looks lonely. Maybe paint another one. Okay, but what about making us do it your way, Sophie? It's way better if everyone can just have fun. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm gonna paint my spaceship another color. <laughs> It's a super gig. Our stories take us anywhere together. Out to sea or in the air. Together. Yeah! Wow! Great! A secret is imagination. No one needs an invitation. Little people, big sensation. We can do anything together. for the best bedazzling is to take it nice and slowly. Ta-da! Emma amazing! Wow! Nice, Emma. So pretty. Um, well, I think it needs a little more mm. There! Look at all that mm. Now that's bedazzled. Oh, no, 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 Mia. That's besplattered. It's all about taking your time and putting things in just the right place. But I like slapping them down and spreading them around like this. Mia, and I'll do it the right way. You'll see. My side's gonna be so, so beautiful. Well, I get the gems. I get the glitter. I get the glue. It doesn't look like we're going to get a turn. But I wanted to make something sparkly. Wait, I have an idea. Let's all go to Snowglobia! Yeah, we can make something sparkly with all that sparkly. 
sparkly snow. You guys want to come to Snow Globia? I'm staying here to finish my bedazzling. Well, if Emma is staying, then so am I. Okay, see you later. Whoa, 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 whoa. Snow Globia? Let's go! Yeah, just as soon as the yard stops spinning around. <laughs> We've got an adventure, and you can come along. A special kind of adventure, but first we sing this song. We sing this song. Sing this song. we make? A speedboat! No, wait! A llama! Wait, wait, wait! A time machine! No, I was thinking more like... More like a sparkly ice palace. <laughs> Loretta? Loretta, you come back here. I'm not gonna tell you again. And you too, Bernard. And Eunice. You listen to Mama now. <laughs> I can wait. <sighs> oh, dear. I am never gonna get my igloo finished at this rate. Igloo? I was hoping to sleep in it tonight. It gets even colder when the sun goes down. Maybe we could help. We were going to make something in the snow anyhow. <laughs> Loretta, I'm warning you. Eddie and I can look after your babies. We can? We can. And we'll help you make the igloo. Oh, thank you. A mama's work is never done. Now, let me show you the plans. I've started building it just over here. It looks like we're going to have some fun. Bunny style. Where'd they go? <laughs> Come back, bunnies! Hmm, let's see. Wow, you've got big plans for this little igloo. I sure do. A room for each of the young'uns and one for yours truly. Okay, Kobe and I can build two rooms and you and Jack can build the other two. But we better follow the plan so we build it right, right? Or we could just build like crazy. Eddie and I have a special treat for you. Look, we made a snowman. <laughs> you can make your own, but just be... Careful. <laughs> hey, come back here! How's this? Move it a teeny tiny bit towards me. How's this? A teenier, weenier bit the other way. Kobe, make up your mind! Whoops. Hey, rabbits! Wait up, you guys! Look, here they come! Ah! Hurry, Ruthie! Come on! Careful, Ty. 
Tessa. Nice and slow. Ah! How's this? I don't know. It doesn't exactly match the plans. Already? Yep. All done. Oh dear. This wasn't my plan. But you didn't even look at the plans. All you've done is plan. You guys haven't built a thing. Have to. Have not. We have to, Jack. Now, now, you're carrying on worse than my youngins. Well, what are we going to do now? Going too fast didn't work. And going too slow didn't work either. So what we've got to do is work somewhere in between. Quickly but carefully. Well, let's get a move on. It's getting dark. What do you say we take these baby bunnies back? You took the words right out of my... <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! Yeah! Hooray! We're done. Yeah. <laughs> and just in time. Look at them, my little snow angels, all tuckered out. They're not the only ones. I hope they weren't too much trouble. Well... No, no, no trouble at all. <laughs> hey! Loretta, what have I told you about snowballs? And sleeping dogs. <sighs> May we present our Emma Credible in Mia Magical Joint Creation, the Sparkly Razzle Bedazzlement. <laughs> Beautiful. Wow, it's very, it's very both of you. Your big sloppy sparkles are great, Mia. In your just jewels are the best, Emma. They work well together. Mm. <sighs> Mia, you're all messy. And now you are too. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie has the ball. Can he throw it to Kobe or will Sophie block the shot? The crowd falls silent. Hmm. Eddie, it's just a game of monkey in the middle. Yeah, would you throw the ball already? Give it your best shot, Eddie. Go on, Eddie. We're ready. It's now or never. I got it, I got it. I don't got it. <laughs> Ew. Pass me the ball, Emma. No, to me. You can't play with this. It's all slobbery. It's fine. It is kind of slobbery. But we're having such a fun game. We could play with something else. We could play somewhere else, too. I know. Let's play monkey in the middle. With real monkeys. Snow monkeys, and we could play with snowballs. An adventure to Snow Globia! Yeah! Great idea! Yeah! Ooh, fun! Yeah. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And you can come along. A special kind of adventure. 
future. But first we sing this song. We sing this song. Sing this song. Wait to play monkey in the middle with us. Okay, monkeys, get ready. Yeah! <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> Heads up, Emma! Now try this, monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> Wow! You're the cutest, sweetest, most adorable little stuffed animal ever! You're soft like a teddy bear, but you're a fish! <gasps> a teddy fish! I'm so glad I found you! You can come and live with me! But Emma, that teddy fish doesn't belong to you! What do you mean? I found it, and I'll give it such a good home! It must belong to somebody. It looks like it's been played with a lot. See? Someone might have lost it and be really sad. <laughs> Heads up, Emma! <laughs> what? Where are you going? Sorry, everyone. I'm going to try and find whoever this teddy fish belongs to. <gasps> Wait! Ugh. I'm coming with you. <laughs> Hey, my hat! Come on, guys, give it back! Found any clues yet? Nope. Good. Because you're my teddy fish. Yes, you are. Emma, we have to return it if we can. If I find it, then I keep it. That's the finder's keeper's rule. It's the first thing that they teach you in finder's keeper school. <sighs> Emma, there's no such thing. What's mine is mine, and what's yours is mine, too. So I'm gonna keep it all. It's like a dream come true. Give it back if you can. Giving back's a much better plan. Cause if someone loves it just like you, then finding that someone is the right thing to do. something that can give us a clue. Oh, great. Excuse me, Mrs. Rabbit. Have you seen this teddy fish before? Hmm, it is mighty familiar. Do you know who it belongs to? I can't quite remember who I saw snuggling it. Maybe try over by the slide. That's where all the penguins play. Next stop, the slide. Thanks, Mrs. Rabbit. You're welcome, sweetie. Bye now. You know, Sophie, I was thinking... Hey, what about if someone got a newer fish one day? And didn't want this old thing, so they just threw it away. What's mine is mine, and what's yours is mine, too. So I'm gonna keep it all, it's like a dream come true. Give it back, if you can. Giving back's a much better plan. Cause if someone loves it just like you, then finding that is the right thing to do. Back, back, give it back. Back, back, give it it's back. My hat. Back, back, give it back. Well, there's nobody here. Too bad. Footprints. Maybe they'll lead us to whoever lost the teddy fish. Oh, goody. Sophie. What if the fish belonged to a huge and hairy beast with 20 catching claws and a million teeth at least? What's mine is mine and what's yours is mine too. So I'm gonna keep it all. It's like a dream come true. Give it back if you can. Giving back's a much better plan. Cause if someone loves it just like you, then finding that someone is the 
right thing to do. If someone loves it just like you, then finding that someone is the right thing to do. What if the teddy fish was lost by a penguin? But which one? No. Um, little penguin, is this your lost teddy fish? I found it in the snow, and I really do love it. But it's yours, and I would feel sad if I lost something and someone else kept it. Emma, that was really nice of you. Oh, thanks, Sophie. And look, you've got an even cuter friend to hug. <laughs> Godmother, that's me, gave her a pair of glass slippers so she could dance at the prince's ball. Ugh. Wow, these slippers are the best for dancing in. The next thing Cinderella knew... Uh-oh, I lost one. Cinderella ran off to look for her slipper, but the prince found it. I must find who this belongs to. Then they can come back to the ball and dance with me. The prince asked Cinderella's evil stepsisters, who really, really, really wanted to dance with him. So they decided to trick the prince. If the slipper fits, then I'll know it belongs to you, and we can dance. So one of the evil stepsisters selfishly pretended it was her slipper. But wait, that slipper actually belongs to Cinderella. No! Don't say that! You're supposed to be evil. Tell the prince it belongs to you. But it's not my slipper. It's Cinderella's slipper. And you should always give back what doesn't belong to you. Cinderella! What? Wait! Hey, my slipper! A perfect fit. Would you like to come back to the ball and dance with me? And bring your lovely stepsisters. Evil stepsisters. <sighs> and they danced happily ever after. All of them together. The end. <sighs> I found this and I think it belongs to you. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> show is big. Play that music, it's a super gig. Our stories take us anywhere together. Out to sea or in the air. Together. Yeah! Wow! Yeah. Great! Our secret is imagination. No one needs an invitation. Little people, big sensation. We, we can, can do anything together. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Whoa! Whoa! What you doing, Selfie? Watering the plants. Mia, what you doing that for? I don't think they were feeling very good. They were all dry and turning brown. 
but I gave him a good drink. And look, all better. Mia! That's really nice of you, Sophie. Mia! Yes, Tessa? Can you stop spinning me now? I'm getting dizzy. Oops, sorry. Dizzy? Aw, I hate feeling dizzy. Hey, maybe I can make you feel better too. Let me take a look. Hmm, interesting. Very interesting. Uh, Sophie, I'm fine. Just needed to stop spinning. When I grow up, I'm going to be a doctor. I can make anything feel better. Anything? <sighs> Plants, people, anything. Hmm. What about dogs? And animals? Dogs are animals. I know that. Animals? They're my specialty. Hey, you know where there are lots of animals? The farm! We could go there and Sophie can make all the animals feel better. Yeah, like a real aquarium. You mean a veterinarian? Yeah, that too. Great idea! Yay! Yay! Let's go! And you can come along A special kind of adventure But first we sing this song We sing this song Sing this song Sing this song Sing this song Sheep is fine. Fine? Listen to it. It's croaking <laughs> like a frog. <laughs> but don't worry. I'll make it all better. But Sophie, look! <laughs> ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. The sheep doesn't have a frog in his throat, but Eddie's got one under his hat. Ribbit. How did he get under there? Ribbit. Ribbit! Hey, come back here! <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. All better now. Hmm. Poor little piggy. What's the matter, Sophie? She's got a bad case of curly tail. See? Don't worry. I'll have this tail straightened out in no time. But Sophie, pigs' tails are supposed to be like that. You know, all curly. They are? Hmm. I guess they are. Say that 
that you hear ringing in your ears? I thought so. Do you hear the ringing a lot? Hmm. This might be something very serious. Maybe come back, cat. You might need a brain transplant. <gasps> That. I guess it could be the bell. <sighs> there must be someone that needs my help. And maybe that's him. Hi, Bernie. Uh, oh. Guys, the doctor needs some help. I think maybe there is something really wrong with Bernie. What could it be? Beats me. But there's definitely something wrong. Well, it's a good thing I'm here. Are your legs broken? No. <sighs> oh, no. Didn't think so. Hmm. I bet you have a really bad tummy ache, right? No. Wrong again. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Mm. <laughs> Wait, I heard a sniffle. I wonder if he has a cold or the flu. Why can't people leave me alone? Have you figured out what's the matter? No, not yet. So that leaves us only one choice. We'll have to operate. Operate? That's what doctors do. Wait a minute. Did you ask him about how he feels and why he's acting sad? Um, you know, not exactly. Well, come on. Bernie, we're worried about you. Yeah, you're just so down. So, we were wondering, what exactly is the matter, Bernie? I don't really know. I'm just a little bit sad. For no reason? No reason. So you're just feeling a little bit down? Yeah, I must have woken up on the wrong side of the barn or something. <sighs> That's okay, Bernie. Oh, Bernie. Mm. There you go, boy. It's okay. Aw, thanks, guys. Sometimes I'm in a bad mood for no reason at all. Yeah, me too. But then it disappears. Baby! Just like Eddie's hat. Come back, hat! Baby! Baby! Mm. Baby! <laughs> Baby! You know? That is pretty funny. <laughs> hey! Uh. Hey, you guys! I think Eddie could use some help! Yeah! Come on! Eddie, we're coming! <laughs> <laughs> Lucky's okay. Sure he's okay. He's just doing what he likes to do best. Taking a nap. It's his best trick. <laughs> what in the name of bouncing bandages is going on here? What do you mean? The bandages. Did you fall off your scooter? Oh no. I'm a mummy. I'm going back to the pyramids. Just as soon as I find my mummy tiara. Eddie, give me back my tiara! But I'm an explorer. I'm supposed to find stuff. I'll help you, Mia. Me too! And me! <laughs> Eddie! Ah. Huh? What? <laughs> Don't worry. I'm okay. Eddie, do you need a bandage? 
Wait, I'm the doctor. Huh? Now, Eddie, just tell me where it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> Throw. Hey, that wasn't me. It was the wind. Tessa, why are you making that noise? It's not me. It's the wind blowing through the treehouse. Sounds like the wind is up to all kinds of tricks today. It's like the singing flowers in fairy tale land, but spookier. <laughs> I'll take the flowers in fairy tale land any day. Then come on. Let's go to fairy tale land. Wait for me. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And you can come along. A special kind of adventure. But first we sing this song. We sing this song. Stinky sock. Ew! I don't want to be stinky. Hey, you guys! Wait for me! Excuse me, ma'am! Sorry, I can't stop or I'll be a stinky sock. Can you spare just a minute? Not today, Mr. Sheep. Coming through. <clears throat> Excuse me? My name is Simon, and, well, it's just that we need a little help. Ugh, I'm really in a hurry. We're going to hear the singing flowers. But we're lost, and we don't know how to get home. Well... Please? Oh, rats. All right, I'll help you. But you've got to be quick. Oh, thank you. <sighs> Come on. How hard can it be to find a sheep field? Let's try this way. On the double. <laughs> so, what does your field look like anyway? Oh, there's grass. Lots of it. And a hedge. There's a big green hedge of bushes. Well, that helps. Maybe someone in the garage will know where to find your field. <gasps> Hello, your royal fairy princess nets. Are you in need of a pumpkin coach today? No, not today. Today I'm here for these sheep. Hmm, do your sheep take regular or unleaded gas? <laughs> I think they run on grass, not gas. But you still might be able to help them. They're lost. Completely lost. Do you know how to get to their field? <laughs> oh, why, yes, of course. The sheep live in the field right along the lane. Oh, thanks, Mr. Dumpty. Wait, there are lots of fields down that way. Which one is it? The one way down there, near the end. You'll know you're there when you see its red gate. But that's way, way, way far away. It'll take forever to walk all the way down there. Yes, it will. If only there was a quicker way to move your sheep. 
Ah, well, I'm sure you'll think of something. Yes! I have an idea. Simon, can you drive? Sheep make excellent drivers. Uh. Mr. Humpty, do you mind if we borrow these cars? Be my guest. Thanks. Well, Simon, there you go. Cars for everyone. So, good luck. Um, ma'am, what if we get lost again? Oh, you won't. Just go all the way to the end of the lane and look for the red gate. Gotta go. Oh, well, okay. <gasps> Simon, you're going the wrong way. <sighs> no wonder little Bo Peep lost her sheep. They're still moving and grooving. Where have you been, Mia? Oh, I was helping some lost sheep find their field. That was nice of you. Did they find it okay? Well, I think so. Which way did she say to go? Uh, maybe it was this way? But we're in a traffic jam. Don't worry, I'll help you. I've got a much better idea this time. What's your idea, Mia? Instead of all the sheep driving alone in their own cars and making all this noise and smog, I'll take them all home. Ta da! In a bus! What a great plan, Mia! They'll all fit in there, no problem. Right! One bus won't cause all the stinky smog that those cars did. And no more loud engines and honking horns. And nobody will get lost because I know the way. All aboard! Come on, gang! Uh, uh, uh. Let's go bye 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 bye. <laughs> there is lots to see on this planet. That is true, other head. But what should we see first? Hey, two-headed alien thing. Do you want to play catch? Oh yes. I mean, affirmative. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
but this head wants to see what those two Earthlings are up to. But this head's data bank says that playing catch is more fun. My data bank thinks your data bank is a little bit rusty. <laughs> hey! 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 Why don't we all do something together? Um, er... Spinning in circles look fun. Actually, this head agrees. So does this one. It is fun. Hee ha, hee hee hee. Whoa! It's a super gig. Our stories take us anywhere together. Out to sea or in the air. Together. Yeah! Wow! Hooray! Our secret is imagination. No one needs an invitation. Little people, big sensation. We, we can, can do, do anything together. into my princess dress before snack time. Roar! Ooh, my tummy is grumbly. Roar! I could eat a whole banquet. Roar! Roar! Hi, Eddie. Roar! Watch where you're Whoa! going. Oops, I squished Mia's castle. Oh, no. Hmm, where is Mia? I don't know. She was just here. <gasps> Maybe she disappeared. Mia disappeared? Is the sandbox quicksand? Ah, quicksand! The sandbox is not quicksand. Okay, here's some snacks. <laughs> um, what are you doing? <laughs> We're looking for Mia. She's disappeared. She turned invisible? <laughs> Mia! Mia! Are you invisible? <laughs> She's going to miss her snack. Maybe aliens took her. <laughs> Maybe they'll make Mia their queen. Maybe we should find out where she is before making things up. <gasps> Look! Maybe she went on her very own adventure. This calls for a search team. Let's take the fire truck. Oh, yeah. Okay. Cool. Let's go. Hooray. <laughs> <laughs> friend Mia. Mia! She's about my size and can probably turn invisible. Mia! 
And she might be an alien queen. <laughs> no! Wait! Eddie! <sighs> We're trying to find Mia, not make everyone scared of her. Mia! But we don't know what happened to her. Exactly. Did you hear? <gasps> Mia is really an invisible alien queen. <gasps> she could be here now. <laughs> What's up with them? So beware! Queen Mia could be arriving any minute with her alien army. Uh-oh. I don't know what planet she's from. I'm sure it's a bad one, though. Invisible and alien, you say? Oh. Ooh! Sounds like this Queen Mia is someone to stay away from. I'll let everyone know. You better gallop off before the alien invasion. Alien invasion? Where in the world did you get that idea? Um, well... He told me. Gotta run. <laughs> Wait, come back. <sighs> Eddie, we warned you about spreading rumors. It's going to be a lot harder to find Mia if everybody is trying to avoid her. But I was only... Alien invasion! <laughs> uh, you know, I think you might be right. So, how do we stop the rumors now? Well, I started these rumors. And I think I know how to stop them. How, Eddie? First, we need to find Mia. Then, show everybody that she's not a super-powered alien queen who can turn invisible and has an invisible army and her own planet. When did she get her own planet? Eddie, don't make up more stuff! Right, sorry. Hey, if you skip snack time to go on an adventure, where would you go? I hmm. wonder. Let me think. Hmm. I know! The, the restaurant! A rumor is a story you don't know is really true. A made-up kind of story, but not the kind that's good to do. Rumors start off small, but then they grow and grow. Till everybody's heard them and they just won't go. I heard this. Aliens roll over them. Ribbit. Ribbit. And before you know it, they think the story's true. Then you've got a rumor ruckus. Well. I heard that. That's a rumor. Keep it under your hat. <laughs> Folks think there are aliens living here among us. Just because a rumor ruckus. Ooh. Ooh. It's not good to spread rumors, even if you think they're true. Just imagine how you feel if folks made things up about you. But I heard things! And I heard stuff. Once you hear a rumor, forgetting it's tough. We should really try to stop them, cause enough's enough. That's why it's so important to hear the song we sing. Cause we've got a rumor ruckus. A rumor ruckus. restaurant with her entire invisible alien army! Oh, 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 look, they're everywhere. Hey, everyone, Mia isn't an alien. She's a normal, nice girl. And she's our friend. Aha! There's Mia. <sighs> Hello? Waiter? Anybody there? <laughs> Oh, rats. Can I at least get a menu? 
Oh my! The alien is becoming hostile. That's not an alien! That's Mia! <gasps> but look! The invisible alien army! They filled every seat in the restaurant! Scientific fact, there is no invisible alien army. Mia's all alone in there. <laughs> Fine, we'll prove it. Come on, guys. Hey, Mia. Hello. There you are. We were worried. We missed you. Whoa, I missed you guys, too. Where'd you all disappear to? <gasps> <gasps> Don't say disappear. Nobody invisible on this chair. Uh, or this one. Huh? Or this one? Or this one! Um, Sophie, what's going on? It's a long story. Maybe you can tell me over a snack. I don't know about anyone else, but I'm starved. Let's eat. <laughs> hmm. I think I'd like to try everything. Yay! She's okay! <laughs> I knew she wasn't an alien. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> what should we build next? Another castle? <gasps> or a sand igloo? I heard if we dig a deep enough hole, we can tunnel through the whole Earth and come out on the other side and walk upside down. <laughs> Eddie! Or a sand igloo is good, too. I think Lucky agrees. <laughs> oh, Lucky! <laughs> <laughs> What animal is that? Uh, uh, a walrus? A panda bear? Uh, <laughs> I'm a lamb, but I've got a little sniffle. <laughs> Hey, can I play whatever you're playing? Sure, we're all animals. Moo! <laughs> oh, I thought I made a wrong turn and wound up at the farm. Don't I sound just like a little lamb? But I don't know. Do lambs sneeze? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we go to the farm and see? Yeah! Aww. Let's go on the farm adventure. Hey, Emma! Kobe! Are you coming? No, I think we're going to stay here. Yeah! Kobe's showing me how to make an airplane. Mine is going to fly like the wind. <laughs> but first, you've got to make that music. Yeah! Hey, hey, we've got an adventure And you can come along A special kind of adventure But first we sing this song Sing this song Sing this song Got it 
Sorry. My nose is feeling all fuzzy. Do you ever get the sniffles? <laughs> Jack, you can be a horse with us if you want. Sure you've got enough? <laughs> sure, there's a whole barrel over there. <laughs> What? It was just one little wrapper. Here, Jack, catch! Whoa! It's not easy juggling with horsey hooves. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, don't worry. It's just one little egg. I don't know why it's not dinging now. Maybe you lost the little dingy thingy. I guess so. Well, now it's broken and no use to a cow like me. Hot choo! <laughs> Relax, Chicky Chicky. It's just one little tissue. Oh well, I guess it's junk now. What? It's just one little broken bell. Great juggling, Tessa. Wait, it's just one little apple core. Hey, can you show me how to juggle? Sure. Just toss each one up as soon as you catch it. See? Whoa! <gasps> Whoa! Broken cowbell. And your tissue, Mia. And your egg, Tessa. And my apple core. And isn't that your wrapper, Jack? All of these things together sure add up to a lot of trash. But it was just one little wrapper. Yeah, but all this little stuff makes one big mess. <laughs> and I don't think the chickens are too happy about all this trash. <laughs> well, I say we do something about it. We all made the mess so we can clean it up together. Good idea, Sophie. Yeah, come on, let's roll. I believe this is yours. Thanks, but it's Kinda of gooey. What can I do with it? Put it in the trash can, of course. Let me find out where it is. Hold your horses. Nee! Have you seen a trash can around here, partner? <laughs> Chicken style. <laughs> Thanks, chickity. Good as no, no, not too. No. <laughs> <laughs> so make sure the wings are stuck on nice and tight. Uh huh. And give it a try. 
Okay, here goes. the plane after you? Sure. <gasps> oh dear, a tiny birdie is in there and she looks a little scared. Aw, poor little thing. If we give her some space, she might come out. Maybe some food will help. A better world is waiting, it's closer than you know. A little bit of kindness can set this world aglow. You can find it on the map or up there in the stars. It's spinning deep inside of you, this place we can call ours. Let's discover a better world where we all do our part. Let's discover a better world. Just look inside your heart. Yesterday has gone away, tomorrow's getting near. But today is where we are, let's change things while we're here. It's not about who you are, it's how you choose to live. It's not about what you have, it's what you have to give. Let's discover. To fly to some place far away. But dreaming dreams won't get us there. Our actions are the way. The world can be a better place. There's much that we can do. This place can be a better world. It all begins with you. Let's discover a better world where we all do our part. Let's discover a better world. Just look inside your heart. It's a super geek. Our stories take us anywhere together. Out to sea or in the air. Together. Yeah! Wow! Yeah. Yeah. Hooray! A secret is imagination. No one needs an invitation. Little people, big sensation. We, we can, can do anything together. someplace you can swing really high. I know! What about the jungle? I can swing on the vines. And we won't have to push you. Yeah! Come on! Let's go! With you in a second, as soon as I can stop swinging. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And you can come along. Special kind of adventure. But first, we sing this song. 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 Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And we're extra so excited. Here we go, adventure hall, and everyone's in 
to be in the jungle. You were born in the jungle? Does that mean you're a monkey? No, but I'd like to be. I love all the jungle animals. Monkeys, uh, birds, elephants, and penguins. Penguins? Hi. Hi. I didn't know penguins live in the jungle. Are you a jungle penguin? No, oh, no. I'm not from the jungle, but it always looked like such a fun place. I thought I'd come and see it for myself. You'll love it. Yeah. Well, wait till you meet all the cool animals. We can show you around. Yeah. I know this jungle like my own backyard. Just follow me. Yes. Let's go. It'll be fun. I'm sure the jungle birds are around here somewhere. You got to meet them. Um, Eddie? Oh, yes, he's one of my dearest friends. Bingo! <laughs> Hi. I'm Pickles. Nice to meet you. Hmm, what an interesting bird you are. You are a bird, aren't you? Oh, yes, definitely. See? Wings, beak, feathers. He's a penguin. Hmm. Charming. He's new to the jungle. New, you say? Well, the best way to see the jungle is from way up in the sky. I suppose we birds can take you for a quick fly around. Well, you see, I don't fly. You don't fly? Who ever heard of a bird who doesn't fly? I can swim, though. Underwater. Pretty impressive, huh? Well, swimming's not much use to us, I'm afraid. Why don't you see if they can show you around? Can't fly! Can you believe it? But... Sorry, gotta fly! Bye. Don't worry, Pickles. There are lots of other animals in the jungle besides the slappy birds. Yeah, like the monkeys. They're always in the mood for fun. Come on, I know exactly where they live. They usually hang around here. Um, Eddie? Oh, hi. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. <laughs> <Whoa>! <laughs> Thanks. I've never swung on vines before, but let's give it a try. Are you okay? Um, yeah, thanks. <laughs> but I don't think my little flippers were made for swinging. Ooh, ah, ah. Oh, thank you. What a funny looking fish. You've never seen a banana? No but it looks delicious. I brought some sardine sandwiches. They're my favorite. Here, see what you think. Well, that was rude. Oh. Don't worry, Pickles. We can look for other jungle friends with you. Yeah! Like the elephants! Let me call and see if they're around. <clears throat> they must be out of town. Maybe I can try. Sure, but it's not as easy as it looks. I think they're on their way. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Pickles. Why don't you try? Well, okay. <laughs> Maybe I just don't fit in. What do you mean? I'm different from everybody here. There's nothing wrong with being different. Yeah, being different is a really good thing. We just need to remind the animals. Come on! See there, elephant? Can you 
swing on a vine. Have you seen the monkeys do it? They're swinging all the time. Wait a minute, monkeys. Has anyone heard that you can flap your wings and fly just like a bird? <laughs> See, nobody does things just like you. But that's what makes me me and makes you you. You, you, makes you you. You, you, makes you you. Hey, Mr. Peacock, can you make a big sound? Like an elephant blasting his trunk all around. Oh, my, that is difficult. See, everyone here has something different to say. So they're doing their own thing, and that's the funnest way. See, I might not do things just like you, but that's what makes me me and makes you you. You, makes you you. No, I don't do things the way you do, but you can like me, and I can like you. You, you, makes you you. Like you, 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 makes you you. Like you, 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 makes you you. Like you, 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 makes you you. Yes, you can like me. <laughs> I must say, I do like the way you walk. Maybe he can show you how. Oh, that would be splendid. You just have to walk around and make sure you give it a bit of a wiggle, like this. <laughs> Why, I feel different already. <laughs> <laughs> Now, Lucky and I are going to be Dorothy and Toto. And you three can play the other parts. What are the other parts? Well, Dorothy and Toto go up in a big storm and land in a magical place and meet witches. Yeah, there's a good witch and a bad witch, and I want to play a magical part. I love magic. Um, okay, then you're the witch, Emma. Oh, I've always wanted to be the good witch with a beautiful dress and a big crown and... I meant the bad one, the Wicked Witch of the West. The mean, old, ugly one. Oh, and Tessa, you can be the good witch, Glinda. What about me? Um... I know, you can play the Witch of the East, the one the house falls on. But we really only need to see your feet. I guess they'll do. Okay, is everybody ready? Mia, why do you get to be Dorothy? What do you mean? I mean, why do we all have to play witches and you get to play Dorothy? But I'm not Dorothy. But you said you and Lucky were Dorothy and Toto. That's right. Lucky is Dorothy. I'm Toto. <laughs> 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 Done. Throw it to me, Eddie. Roger that. Eddie Airlines Flight 01 cleared for takeoff. <sighs> oh, rats. Whoa. Come back. <laughs> Whoa. Leah, it will come down. Come down now! Have you tried asking nicely? Oh, plane, pretty please come down. It worked! Yay! <laughs> Looks like you missed your flight. Eddie, was it a round trip? Just one way. Where to? I don't know. It could have gone anywhere. Hmm. I think this calls for a search and rescue mission. Yeah! Let's have an adventure! Yeah! Great idea! Are you coming, Sophie? You guys go ahead. I'm going to stay here and look at my book. Okay. Bye! Hit it, Ziggy! An adventure, and you can come along. A special kind of adventure, 
Airlines Flight Zero One needs to go in for repairs. I'm sorry. I was trying to get in the tree to watch the tree frogs. They have the hiccupity flops. What's a hiccupity flop? I know. It's when frogs hiccup and do somersaults. And it only happens once a year. Let's get up there. Yeah. Let's go! Come on, Bernie. Yeah, it's easy. Not for me. Bulls aren't so good at climbing. Wait, guys! We have to help Bernie get up the tree, too. I'll lift you into the tree, Bernie. Tessa style! Are you sure you can lift Bernie into the tree? An eensy weensy bull? Of course. Awesome! Go, Tessa! I can lift him, but I can't... Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Hold him! <sighs> Maybe Bernie is not so eensy weensy Yep, I'm largey wargy Too largey wargy to get up there. Come on, guys! The frogs are about to start! We need to hurry! I've got it! Bernie, flap those ears! But what for? I bet if you flap your ears fast enough, they'll be like wings! Flaptastic idea, Mia! Okay! Faster, Bernie! <laughs> flap them, Bernie! Oh, boy. Hey, Kobe! What's going on up there? The frogs are getting ready to hiccup. You better hurry! Wait, I know what we can do. Hey, Kobe, can you help? But I don't want to miss the frogs. Kobe! <sighs> Yep. Can you see him? No. Wait, yes! He's gonna make it! He's gonna make it! gonna make it. <laughs> Bernie, are you okay? Um, yeah, but I'm still not up in the tree. Oh, Bernie. Hmm. There must be some way to get Bernie up into the tree so he can watch the frogs. Oh. <sighs> Just go on without me, guys. No, Bernie. It wouldn't be the same without you.
you, Bernie. It's not the same up here without any of you guys. That includes you, Bernie. I'll never get up there. <clears throat> Maybe I can help. How? We've tried everything. <laughs> well, what have we got? Hmm, there's the broken wagon, a tractor, and some bales of hay. Right. I've got it! But I'll need your help. Come on! One way to know for sure. No! <laughs> Ribbit. Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> How was my somersault? Perfect. Top flop. It was the best. But I think you're a better bull than a bullfrog. <laughs> <laughs> What you doing, Sophie? Lucky and I are building forts. I love playing forts. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Lucky says you're only allowed to play if you can speak dog. I didn't know you spoke dog. Woof, woof. That's dog for I'm learning. Wow. I wish I could speak dog. Me too. Hey, why don't I teach you? Cool. Okay. Yeah. That would be great. Listen carefully. Repeat after me. Woof. 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 Meow. <laughs> Just joking. Woof. 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 <laughs> It's a super gig. Our stories take us anywhere together. Out to sea or in the air. Together. Yeah! Wow! Hooray! Our secret is imagination. No one needs an invitation. Little people, big sensation. We can do anything together. Together! <laughs> Chocolate. Check. Marshmallows. Check. Graham crackers. Check. 
The best way to make s'mores is graham crackers on the bottom, then marshmallows, and then chocolate on top. It's only logical. I think the very best way is with marshmallows on top. Marshmallows are so full of mushy, mushy goodness. Hmm, which way is best? Maybe I need to do a taste test. Yeah, an experiment. Whoa! Um, so good. Um, nom, nom, nom. Mm, my favorite. Daddy! What? What's wrong? You just ate all of the graham crackers. So? They were for our s'mores. Now, no one can have any s'mores. Oops. Sorry, guys. What are we going to do with all these marshmallows? And chocolate. Hey, I know. What? Let's go on a camping adventure. We can bring the chocolate and marshmallows and have them for snacks when we're hungry. Yeah, everything tastes good when you're camping. Great idea. Cool. Let's go. Come on. Hooray. This will be fun. <laughs> And you can come along A special kind of adventure But first we sing this song 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 Hey, hey, we've got an adventure One for Sophie. Yummy! One for Tessa. Thanks! One for Mia. One for Eddie. And one for me. And a marshmallow for you. One for you. Goody! One for you. And one for Eddie. All right! The marshmallow and chocolate look all lonely without the graham cracker. Yeah, I still wish we could make s'mores. I know! We can make jungly s'mores! What are jungly s'mores? They're like s'mores, but with coconuts instead of graham crackers. Coconuts? I think you're nuts, Eddie. No, they're really good. It's worth the taste test. Why not? I love coconut. Come on, let's find some coconuts. find any either. Usually, there's so many of them here. I don't get it. Where are they all? It's the mystery of the disappearing coconuts. First, we need to find some clues. Hmm, the palm trees are still here, but there's no coconuts. That's clue number one. Someone must have taken them. Do you think all the palm trees are empty? There are more palm trees over there. Let's go check them out. Look! We're searching for coconuts. Are there any around here? <sighs> nope. Not one. And I was looking for coconuts, too. You were? Why? I use them for juggling practice. I've had to use bananas instead. Go! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Stop oh. throwing bananas! Oh. Whoa! I give up! I surrender! What is that thing? It looks like a silky white scarf. Kobe, I think you found another clue. I did? 
But what's a silk scarf doing out here? Hmm. Maybe whoever left it headed down this path. Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's go, gang! Yeah! <laughs> Hi, Leonard. We're looking for coconuts. Me too. And I can't find any. Hmm. The mystery of the disappearing coconuts continues. What do you want coconuts for? I use coconuts for tennis practice. But since there aren't any around, I've been trying to use mangoes. Want to try? Sure. I'm really good at tennis. Mangoes are way too bouncy for tennis. Hey, everybody. Look what I found. It's a magic wand. It's a clue. What does a magic wand have to do with disappearing coconuts? Empty trees, a silk scarf, a magic wand, but no coconuts. This is one tough mystery. I wonder if we can find more clues. Let's keep following the path. Have you seen any coconuts? No, and we've been looking for them everywhere. Yeah? What do you use them for? Coconuts have coconut milk inside, and that's my favorite drink. So, what are you drinking instead? Nothing. That's the problem. And I'm a very thirsty elephant. Oh, no. Listen, everybody. I think I hear another clue. Follow that squawk. Uh, coconuts. <sighs> I'll never get this trick right. Gerald! Ah, hello, everyone. You're just in time to see my new magic trick. I've been practicing it day and night. What's your trick called? The Disappearing Coconuts. Wow, that's the name of the mystery we are trying to solve, too. Of course, I've only perfected the disappearing part and haven't been able to make them reappear. Where did you get all the coconuts from? Why, all over the jungle, of course. It was Gerald who took all the coconuts. The mystery of the disappearing coconuts is solved. Yes, it was me. I only took them to practice my magic trick. But we needed coconuts for our jungly s'mores. Ah, ah. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. And the monkey needed them for his juggling. And the lion needed them to play tennis. And the elephant needed them so that he could drink his coconut milk. And I'm a very thirsty elephant. Oh, goodness. I'm so sorry. I didn't realize. I'll bring them back at once. Well, as soon as I can figure out how to... Maybe we can help with this. My magic scarf. You found it. And this. My magic wand. Wonderful. Let's give it a try. Coconuts, coconuts, all gone away. Coconuts, coconuts, return now, I say. Look at them all! Mm -mm. Stand back! Thank goodness! That was amazing! Oh, excellent! Thank you! Thank you! The case of the disappearing coconuts is officially closed! And now, there are coconuts for everyone! Next time, don't use them all up yourself, Gerald. Leave some to go around. Now I get it. We all need to share what we've got. Well, I've got the chocolate and marshmallows. Who's ready for some jungly s'mores? Me! Yeah! Hooray! Delicious! <laughs> Everything for yourself? No, 
Look, everyone. I was using them to build a wall around the castle. See? Uh, okay. To protect us from the fire-breathing stompy dragon. What fire-breathing stompy dragon? <laughs> there! Mm. Oh, lucky! <laughs> <laughs> 